Welcome back people my people to Odin Die Strength and tonight I'm doing what bills itself as the original rosé. I cannot verify it. I have not been to Portugal yet. If you want me to go to verif Portugal and verify that Matus rosé is indeed the original one, send money. I take a size window seat on planes, okay? Just let you know if you want me to do the research. So Matus rosé has been around since like forever. In fact, research proves that this was actually launched as a brand but even in World War II when the Portuguese were neutral. So there's a whole you know, reasons to drink happening around them in world, Europe and the Portuguese go, well, it's the perfect time to go flogging wine. So I have helped myself to it a little bit, as we can see. Um, a smell of happiness. Look, having drunk a little bit tonight and not enough to make me silly, this drinks like a very Mediterranean wine. Um, my experience is that Italian wines and Spanish wines and that have all got a different terroir. It's a different flavoring to Australian wines. So this is a Mediterranean wine, Portugal, basically the Atlantic, still in the Mediterranean area. And it tastes very similar to a Italian rosé if you've tried them. It's mildly sparky. It's quite dry. It's quite savory and I think ice cold, and certainly in the upcoming cocktail, this will go down a real trip. If it's a 40 degree day where you are, and you've got one of these babies, a bottle of these, or <laughs> several, in the fridge, you're gonna kinda like have a pain removing event. So this is Matus Rosé, which I was drinking back when this was a brunette, and more likely half my audience were not even a back rub. So thank you for subscribing, people, my people. And there it is, once I finish rubbing my nose, going to be a hopefully stunning Richie's Rosé cocktail coming through.